Hi guys, this is Matthew Ravi with Montag Manufacturing. We're here with a, a Montag Gen 2 dry rate controller. What you see here on your screen, this gray box, is what you'll see on your virtual terminal, no matter what one you're using. John Deere, Trimble, uh, doesn't matter. This is what you're gonna see on your screen. Just a quick overview of some of the icons on this screen here. We call this our main Montag run screen. Top right here is your master switch for the machine on the display. Um, over here on the right, we have the road mode. This will put it into the road mode, shut the slide gates, run the augers a little bit and clean the machine out. Down below here, this is your manual operation of the slide gates. Green, green is open, red is closed. Uh, the gear down here, this will get you to your settings, which we'll get to in just a minute. Over here on the left, on the top, this is your meter one information, meter two information, hopper one, hopper two, uh, manual override of your sections. Down on the bottom, we see our ground speed for the tractor. And then on the very bottom, we see our RPMs for meter one and meter two. Up here on the right of this little square here, you'll see your air pressure reading from the machine. I have it disabled so an alarm's not going off, but this is where that will show up. So let's go ahead and get started on, on initial setup of a Gen 2 when you're trying to get this thing up and running. We'll go ahead and go to the gear, gear with the padlock, the implement. Here we're gonna go through some real quick settings of uh, way system is gonna say yes. And then also we're gonna wanna do our implement geometry. Click on the tractor with the two sets of arrows. You're going to get an option here of what kind of configuration your machine is, whether it's a pull type, three point, or what have you. Down on the bottom right, you'll see the tractor with the two arrows going in a circle. Go ahead and click on that. You can scroll through the different configurations available for whatever your specific implement is. We're going to go ahead and go with the pull type here. So just click on that and it'll come back here and you'll get your uh, measurements that you should put in. We're just gonna pick some numbers here from the draw bar to the center wheel. We're just gonna say from that is, oh, let's just put three and a half feet. And then from there to the back of the row units, we'll just say is 5.5. Go ahead and go back to your next run to the configuration screen. We're gonna go ahead and go to the shoots. This is where you're gonna set up the sections. This is a 12 row, two section machine. Once you have these numbers in here, go ahead and go up to the top right where it looks like a little light bar and click on that. This is gonna be where you set your sections up so that they operate properly. Go ahead and put in your number of rows you're working with. This should come through automatically once you have the previous page here set up. Once you have this set up, go ahead and go back to your configuration screen here. We're gonna to go to the product page. We're just gonna make sure that there's a calibration factor down here for meter one. On another video series, uh, look for product set up and we'll go through setting all of this up but for now just make sure that you have a calibration factor in here so that the machine will actually run go ahead and back out another screen and go to the hopper this is where we're going to associate a product to hopper one tank one to make sure that uh, all those settings come through if you click on that associated product you can select from your list of products available if you click on the three dots in the bottom right, this will switch from hopper one to hopper two. Again, just click on that product and select which product you want to associate to that, that tank. Go ahead and back out another screen. We'll be back at the configuration page. Go ahead and click on the top right, the meter. Here we're going to want to set a target rate for that specific meter. We're on meter, meter in unit one. Target rate we have set at 95. Again, if you hit your three dots on the bottom right, it'll switch you to metering unit two. We've got 89.2 in here for a target rate. I recommend having two different target rates on the two different products on initial startup. That way, if there's an issue with a rate, you'll be able to see 
the difference between the two products. Go ahead and back out. At this point, we've hit all the basic steps for setting up a Gen 2 dry rate controller. Uh, go ahead and back out to your main run screen. You will get this where it says the ECU restarts. When you redo certain settings, it will automatically reset itself so that uh, all of those new settings come through onto the main run screen and operate correctly. This is the screen that you're gonna see when the ECU is loading. Down here, it'll show you what version of software you have. This ECU MIDI 3.0 is the actual ECU itself, the hardware. Okay, so now that we're back to the main run screen, you can see we've got our target rate of 95 on meter in unit one, 89.2 on 89.2 on meter in unit two. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in, go in and set a simulated speed. We're going to put 6.5 in here. Make sure you check the box. Go back to your main run screen, and then just verify that your speed shows up here on the screen and hit your master switch. I'm not on a live unit, so I can't open my slide gates and I'm not gonna actually be able to see RPMs down here for the metering units rolling. But as you can see, the section control box is turned blue. That means that the, the sections are manually turned on. And you can also see that I'm getting a lot of errors popping up here because I am on a dead machine. I, I don't have the actual fan running. I don't have hydraulics running. Uh, but on your screen, you will see RPMs down here running for your meters turning. And you also get little granules under your section control boxes indicating that the machine is running.